Okay, today we are going to do the spark plugs on the Boxster. Now, we're actually going to get to the spark plugs by going through the wheel wells. Uh, it's the easiest way to get to them. The motor is uh, in line, so the, you have three spark plugs on one side, three on the other. And so, just raise your, uh, raise your Boxster up based on what the manual tells you to do. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and take off the wheel. Now, I have an electric impact. Uh, if you don't have an impact, then you need to loosen the lugs before you raise the car. It's, it's the general rule, right? We always do that. So I'm going to take this wheel off and we just have to take off one little panel on, inside the wheel well and then we can get to those spark plugs. So let's do it. Once you have the wheel off, there's only uh, two little plastic nuts that need to be removed just to take this little panel off. Technically, you can see the spark plugs, they're right here, uh, but this just will make it a heck of a lot easier. So take those two off. Once those are off, there's just a little seam in here. You need to pull that out. There you go. Throw that aside and you're done. Once you have that plastic panel out, you can really get a better look at our three spark plugs. Now we have the coil packs, so we have one, two, and three. And we have this little thing that's kind of in the way, but we'll figure that out. And this hose here as well. Really nothing that you can't work around. Uh, if you notice, I can, I can really get my hand back here without an issue. Um, and obviously these two are very easy. So we're just going to start by this one here. And this is a five millimeter Allen. And I actually have a a head like a ratchet that I bought and it's uh it goes right on and it's a it's the different allen heads and there's a set of these that I bought and honestly I really love them and especially for this uh, scenario using a regular allen wrench in here is just gonna end up being a huge pain so uh, go ahead and slap that on and loosen the first one Okay, now with these two out, you have to take off the electrical connector going into the actual coil pack. So just slide the boot back. Let me get down here at a better angle. There's a boot cover on this. All right, very good. Just that little cover there. And then there's a little button right behind it. There we go. If you push that, there you go, it pops right out. Nice. And now the entire coil pack can just get pulled out. Okay, so here's our coil pack. Now, if you might have to end up replacing one of these, if one of these goes bad, I mean, this is really the, it's the exact same process, we're taking it out, right? So if you just need to replace it, put your new one in. Uh, in this case, all of mine are fine. We're just doing the spark plugs. So uh, put this aside, make sure you don't drop it or get it wet or whatever. Um, set it aside and then we gotta take the plug out. Now for the plug, I have a 5 8 uh, socket with uh, the little rubber piece in here that will hold on to the spark plug. Technically, you know, these are, they're mounted horizontally. You could just use a regular 5 8 um, I always like to get the ones with the rubber piece, so it's easier to just get that spark plug out. So slide that in. All right. Get it to seat on that spark plug. You can kind of feel it, you know, it'll pop on. And then just drive it out. Okay, now that it's out, uh, well, it looks kind of not good, but that's okay. Uh, that's why we're replacing them. So set that aside, get your new one, and then just put it back in. For my car, I went with the Bosch Super. It was the recommended spark plug for the car, so that's what we're going with. Just take it out and literally do the exact opposite. Slide it on, put it in place, and you just want to be careful here 
that you're not gonna knock this head against anything, right? You don't wanna hit it on the side of the block or on its way into the hole. Just be really careful to guide it in. There we go. Without hitting anything else. Now, just thread it as much as you can with your fingers and then you wanna torque down. And it says 21 foot pounds. Um, I'm just gonna use my uh, touch here. But uh, if you wanna get a torque wrench out, that's, that's your prerogative, so. Starting to get tight here. And there we go. So the new spark plug is in. Once the new spark plug is in, we just have to put the boot back in, secure it down, and then plug in the electrical. So grab your boot. And you wanna position it first, right? So you can slide it in a little bit, but then position it in such a way that these holes line up with the holes in the block, right? So basically just kind of aim it the same way this is. So I'm gonna turn a little bit, because once it's in, you really don't wanna twist it. You don't wanna put any torque on that. So make sure it's lined up. Just push it in with your fingers. Awesome, looking good. And then put your screws back in. And then you just gotta reconnect your electrical. This only goes in one way and you will hear it pop. So that's how you know it's back in. And then slide that protective boot back over. There we go, that's one done. Now the process for all six are, is literally the exact same, all right? Now the only thing you're gonna run into is this stuff. Now this is just a regular 10 millimeter and there's something similar on the other side. In fact, it's the same thing, it looks like an O2 sensor. So uh, you can just remove that to make a little bit more space, but really it's the exact same process. You may also want to figure out, there's, well, there's enough room in here, but you may need to get one of those articulating connectors for your ratchet uh, if you wanna you know, get access to that one back there. I already did the passenger side and uh, it, I didn't need it. So you should be able to do it uh, on all six. So I'm gonna continue to do all these, uh, but when you're done, just uh, reassemble your wheel, put your, put your guard back in and that's it, you're done. Now really my only pointers for this job are when you jack up a car, especially a rear wheel drive car, make sure that you chalk the front wheels and that you set them on jack stands. You really don't wanna mess around with this because there's no real way to lock those front tires, right? The drive and the brake are all back here and obviously you have a brake up front but you're not gonna have someone sitting in the car holding the pedal. So, safety first, right? Uh, next, uh, just make sure you buy decent spark plugs, right? Buy the recommended ones. Because really, if you want something that wants, that's going to run smoothly and you're going through all this trouble anyways, get the right spark plug. And thirdly, I mean, obviously you want to do the job yourself because you're watching this video, but don't go pay someone to do this. This is surprisingly easy to do. Um, I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it was. And in fact, it's a lot easier than some, you know, much bigger cars that uh, have transversely mounted motors, right? So the the spark plugs go the opposite direction of the car. Um, those can be twice as hard as this. So this really isn't a bad job. It's, it's quick, it's easy, and you'll save a lot of money by doing it yourself. Um, other than that, just go forth and have fun. Thanks for watching.